What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we're back in Destiny 2 for the weekly reset of July 13th. And so this week, Solstice of Heroes continues, and we've got plenty of time to do all of our upgrades, grab rewards, and things like that. But we also have a refresh on the Vault of Glass, Master Difficulty, and the new weekly challenge. So there'll be a new opportunity for Time Lost Weapons, and also we'll see if anything unexpected happens story or quest-wise this week. And then we've got all of our vendors to cover, activities, rewards, and more to break down in the video. So guys, as always, I hope you enjoy this one. And if you do, a rating down below really helps us out on the channel. But now, let's get Get into it. Okay, and as we sign into the game today, initially, there are actually no in-game overlays this time, which is pretty unusual. So nothing unexpected popping up immediately, but of course, we still have a few things to touch on. In the game this week, Solstice of Heroes continues, and this will be running up until August 3rd, so we've got plenty of time to keep doing those upgrades, unlock the triumphs, cosmetic rewards, and so on. Let us know how you're getting on with Solstice this year down in the comment section. Next though, for the Eververse store this week, as always, plenty of items featured for silver on the front page if you want to pick any of them up, but we've got the oiled algae uh, shader right there available this week for bright dust on the front page, that's 300 bright dust. We've also got the Golden Rider Exotic Sparrow for Solstice, and it finally loaded right there. You can grab this one for two and a half thousand bright dust. We've also got the Predator Sunshell, another one from Solstice uh, from a couple of years back, I believe, for 2850 bright dust. And then we can get the Power Rising exotic emote on the front page as well. Of course, there is the event section since Solstice is still running, but for the main Bright Dust section, we do have the Breathe In exotic emote right here if you want to grab it. 3,250 Bright Dust, pretty expensive stuff. We've also got the Shaded Shell for 2,850 Bright Dust, of course, another fairly old school one for Solstice. And then we've got the Legacy 2 uh, Sparrow right there. Very interesting looking thing for 2,500 Bright Dust but also on Gilt Wings for 2,500 Bright Dust, another one of the Solstice Sparrows. And then we have the Sweltering Heat Legendary Emote, as well as the Beach Header uh, ornament right there for the Merciless. Pretty cool looking thing if you want to grab it for 1,250 Bright Dust. But then we've got the Crab Projection, as well as the Cabal Shield Breaker, Nightmare Emergence, and Beach Ball Effects Transman Effects. And then we've got the Grand Luster Shader, uh, one for Solstice right there. Pretty nice shader, one I actually need to grab. But then also the Golden Age Wine, as well as the Pomegranate Gloss and Tangerine Gloss shaders available this week. Of course, there is the Vault of Glass with the Master Difficulty, and this week the challenge mode is going to be Ensemble's Refrain, so good luck if you do jump in and try that one out. Of course, another opportunity for different time-lost weapons in the Master version, and otherwise plenty of chances for loot drops throughout the raid this week. For Nightfalls this week though, and for the Grandmaster variant, the Inverted Spire is going to be the featured Nightfall, and also we've got Hung Jory dropping, and that'll include the Adept version in Grandmasters. So good luck if you are jumping in and grinding. Don't forget also that Bungie had said we need to turn in all of our Vanguard tokens before Season 15 if we don't want those items to be completely lost as they are going to be removed from the game when Zavala gets an update to his ranking system. And also in terms of the rotation for weapons, of course DMG confirms that it was knocked out a little bit with the update last week. And so this week we get Hung Jory, next week we'll get the Azumi RR4, and the final week of rotations after that will be Palindrome, Swarm, and Shadow Price, with three featured drops at the same time. Checking in with Banshee, this week he does have the Long Shadow with Field Prep and Moving Target. We've also got Lonesome uh, with Rapid Hit and Kill Clip. And then the 7th Seraph SMG is actually available at Banshee. And this one's got Ambitious Assassin as well as Vorpal Weapon. As well as Last Perdition with Outlaw and Snapshot Sights. The Outrageous Fortune with Snapshot Sights and Genesis. And we've got the Memory Interdict uh, Grenade Launcher as well with Auto Loading Holster and Unrelenting. All of these should have the appropriate Masterwork slots now. And then for mods we've got Icarus Grip as well as Backup Mag. But these will change on a daily basis. Then, not forgetting Ada's inventory, uh, for today she's got Machine Gun Loader, as well as Argent Ordnance. Pretty good charge with Light Mod for rocket launchers, so definitely something to grab. But also, the Wild Hunt set is featured this week. Can't see any crazy, crazy rolls right here for the Titans, but if you are looking for higher stat rolls or particular stat rolls on your armor, be sure to check in with your different characters. Legend and Master Lost Sectors for today consist of K1 Revelation at 1340, dropping exotic leg armor. And secondary to that, we've got Concealed Void on Europa at 1310, dropping exotic arms. And while we're over here on Europa, we've got Simulation Agility for the Exo Challenge this week. 
We can also see the Eclipse Zone this week as a Stereon Abyss, and we've got the Warrior for the featured Empire Hunt, with chances at Pinnacle Gear of course, and then the Deep Stone Crypt, and if you're curious, the challenge for this week is of all trades. Finally, over in the Dreaming City, the Ascendant challenge this week is the Sumerian Garrison, which is accessed via the Chamber of Starlight in Rhea Sylvia. So if you want the location for that one, as always, I'll run some gameplay at the end of the video if you are still completing those Ascendant challenges. But otherwise, for this week, guys, that is what we have to round up in the reset portion of things. As always, if we get any major news or details about upcoming reveals or content, I will be keeping you posted. So be sure to keep it locked and loaded here on the channel. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so I can keep you up to date. But otherwise, thank you as always for tuning in, guys. Have an awesome week, and I will catch you all very soon.